Good morning and thanks for joining us this Thursday, the 15th of September. I'm Sophia Mavridis, a market analyst with Bell Direct. Well, U.S. inflation came in hotter than expected this week, with consumer prices rising 8.3% year-over-year in August. However, what was even more concerning than the headline figure was the core inflation measure excluding volatile food and energy prices, which accelerated from 5.9% in July to 6.3% in August. Now, the interest rate futures responded to the inflation reading by pricing out any probability of a 0.5% hike at next week's Fed meeting and pricing in a 32% likelihood of a full percentage point hike, up from 0% probability one week prior. Now, on a more positive note, U.S. equities overnight closed higher. The Dow Jones slightly higher, just up 0.1%. The S&P 500 up 0.3% and the Nasdaq up 0.7%. Locally today, the Australian market is set to open flat this morning, with the SPY futures suggesting a rise of just 0.09%. Now, investors are hoping for a more positive outlook today after yesterday's heavy sell-off. In commodities, oil is trading just under 2% higher as investors to continue to continue to assess sorry, the outlook of global demand. So oil stocks to watch include Santos STO and Woodside Energy WDS. Gold is trading in the red, weighed down by a sharp US dollar as the higher than expected US inflation figures fueled expectations for the Fed to continue to raise rates. So gold miners to keep your eye on are Evolution Mining EVN and Regis Resources REG. And iron ore is trading at its highest level in almost three weeks, amid prospects of increased Chinese demand. So China, a top steel producer and iron ore consumer, has announced more stimulus measures to support its COVID hit economy, which includes new infrastructure projects. So keep watch of miners that may benefit from the rising iron ore prices, such as Rio Tinto, RIO, Fortescue Metals, FMG, BHP and Champion Iron CIA. Now, there are also a few stocks set to go ex-dividend today, which may see share prices fall. These include Best and Less, BST, Early Pay, EPY, IGO, Regis Healthcare, REG, and Remilius Resources, RMS. Now, looking at some trading ideas for your consideration, Bell Potter maintain a speculative buy rating on Avita Medical AVH with a valuation of $3. Now, at its current share price of $1.95, this implies 53.8% share price growth in a year. And Trading Central have identified a bearish signal in Bendigo and Adelaide Bank, BEN, indicating that the stock price may fall from the close of $8.43 to the range of $7.90 to $8 over five days, according to the standard principles of technical analysis. Now, there won't be a closing bell this afternoon, so we'll see you tomorrow morning for our final morning bell of the week. And that's all for today. I'm Sophia Mavridis with Bell Direct. Have a great day and happy trading.